Yo, what's going on guys today i'm going to be showing you guys how um how you can get your mix similar to 808 mellows all it is is literally just leveling your sounds and making sure like um some some sounds are loud enough some sounds aren't too loud you know it's literally just leveling stuff till it sounds good and adding a couple effects here and there that's literally all it is so before we get into this the first step to any drill mix is put a soft clipper on the master okay the last slot of the master is what you want your soft clipper to be because this is like what will keep your mix from clipping when you turn everything up like if you don't have this everything's gonna sound like garbage like it's gonna feel like you did nothing at all or it's just gonna sound too loud too distorted so that's the first thing you want to do now now that we've done that let me just play the beat for you guys with nothing on it by the way so there's nothing on the mixer and i didn't mess with any of the levels here okay so right now this sounds garbage like this is terrible like in my opinion you you some of you might think it's hard but it's a it's really like it's it's it needs some work right the mix because i didn't do anything to it so now that we um we have the soft clipper on the master and i've showed you guys the beat the first thing that you want to um look at here is the melody so right now it's way too loud right now it's way too loud so you're gonna want to turn it down and you want it to hover around 12 right here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on it and then you're gonna adjust it okay so that's good but you don't want to make it too low because you still want your melody to be you know to be present in the mix right you don't want it to be drowned out by everything else so just make sure it's around 12 db push it to the max maximum is like right above 12 db so or negative 12 db so you just want to make sure you do that and next thing you want to do to your melody is just eq out the low end around 100 and that's it that's it for the melody so now we're gonna move over to the hi-hat now with the hi-hat like right here i literally have a super basic hi-hat pattern like if you listen to it here now one thing you can do for the hi-hat is you can make it tighter so right here if you look at the out knob like like that's a little like you can just make it that's a little too that's a little too um that's not tight enough for me so you're just gonna make it tighter okay that's good and now um the next thing i like to do when i make a basic pattern like this is i put a delay and you put the time to two and then you turn down the input pretty low so make it very subtle so And also, I like to put reverb on it and then turn that down pretty low too. Now, okay, so that's it for the hi hat. So, this is what it sounds like so far. It's just a little bit better, but it still needs a lot of work. So, what we're gonna do is for the snare, I usually just add. So, uh, wrong button. I usually just add um, reverb and I turn this down pretty low too. And in here I use two different snares, so I'm gonna put it on the on the the other snare too. So. Okay, so that's pretty much it for like the hi-hat and the snare. So now for the kick, the first thing you want to do is turn it up in the channel rack. So turn it up in the channel rack and turn it up, turn up the velocity to the maximum in the um, piano roll. So you can double click it and then you just turn it up. That's already sounding a lot better, but to make it sound even better, you can um, you can pitch it down around two to three. So. So that's a little trick right there and now it's hitting hard so now if we listen to it now
that's already sounding 10 times better but of course we can always improve so with the 808 what you're gonna do very simple turn it up in the channel rack maximum just like that very simple and now for the perks and the sound effects and everything what i usually do is literally i just put um delays and reverb on whatever is necessary but for like for the most part it's just going to be um delays so right here just a delay for the snuff i usually put it at six so and i turn down the input same thing for the gunshots you just turn that up to eight i i personally like to do it to eight sometimes i put it at six sometimes i put it at four it just depends how i'm feeling how i think it would sound in the beat so you just turn down the input volume same thing for the for the rest of the um, perks i just Even for the boxes here, like for example, I have a, I have a box right here. It's, it sounds like this. I just, I'll just add a delay to it. So I put it at four, and then I just. Same thing with the triangle. Another perk sound effect. You just delay. All right, so that's pretty much it for all the drums. Now, for the next grime, for the grime 808, um, it's a little different than the rest. It's not just a delay. Um, I sometimes I do add a delay, but one thing I always do though is I put a fruity uh, stereo enhancer, and I pitch it a little to the left or to the right. It doesn't really matter, or I mean, it can sound different, but it just it just depends on you, like whatever you prefer. And I just turn up the set, uh, stereo separation pretty high. So this is with it. This is without it. It like spreads it more across your um, headphones. And also what I do is I take the default EQ here and I just turn up the low really high and turn down the, the, the high. And I just turn down the, uh, I turn down the bass and the mixer. So. And last thing is the for the reverse effect, like this one right here. So I don't know if you heard that. I mean, you definitely did because I was way too loud. So you're going to turn that down. If it's too loud, you're going to turn it down. If it's too low, turn it up. Same thing, just use your ears. And then... And then I just I just put a delay. I put a free delay. I put it at eight personally. That's what I usually do. So eight. And then for the rest of the time, man, you just you just listen for what's too loud, what's too low. You just mess with it. You can mess with the levels in the channel rack and in the mixer. It's up to you. But yeah, man. So if you listen to the beat before. and you listen to it now So 
so yeah man that's pretty much it that's all it is it's just a it's just it's all leveling really like it's just leveling adding a couple effects to space it out and that's pretty much it man so if you guys learned something from this video be sure to leave a like and subscribe man and leave a comment down below if you enjoyed and uh i'll see you guys in the next one take care